Hello, YouTubers! Welcome to my Netsec YouTube channel. A YouTube channel focused on best practice in cybersecurity. Uh, today, I'm going to talk about the speed testing. I've been using all kinds of speeding test tools, as you can see from my blog. I'm using Linux speed testing. I'm using Docker, and uh, I'm using some benchmark scripts. Um, but today. I'm going to talk about the iperf 3. So this is ultimate speed test tool for TCP, UDP, and SCTP based on the website set. And I've been using it for many years. And this tool can give you very accurate speed test result from your machine to another machine. So let's start it. Usually I'm using the Windows. I can download the Windows from here, Windows 64-bit version. And also, we can use it for Linux version. That I will do it from my virtual machine here. This is um, CentOS Linux 7. We're going to install it here and then open a port and we're going to test it. And also, we're going to use in some public iperf 3 servers and do testing. This is advanced testing tools. So you can test it from your machine to that remote server how fast it, your speed can go. So let's start with downloading. The latest version is IPO 3.1.3. It's only 1.36 meg. It's very small, tiny tools, but it can give you lots of features. I'm going to move this tool to the temp folder at the C drive. Um, first test I want to do is some. Um, it, it, it's a software you don't have to install it just copy over it's portable so you can copy over to anywhere then you can use it so we go to temp folder you can get help um, for the command for the um, parameters so basically, iperf-s is going to run it as server mode. iperf-c is going to in a client mode to connect into it. You can test in byte direction, or you can test it from one way. You can test UDP using dash U. By default, it's testing uh, TCP. You can assign a port. This um, public servers. So we can test with that. To see how it goes. If it's busy, then we will get the busy uh, cannot connect to it message. So I perf C. We run as client and we connect into remote. We're using default port. It's busy running a test. Try again later. And maybe we can assign a port 9200. One, well, 9201 is open. So that's how you can test it with those uh, public servers because the port is running dynamically. Um, some port may be using by someone already. That's how you can test it with those public iperf 3 servers. But if you want to run it in your own server, so you want to know from your machine to your remote um, virtual machine in the cloud how fast it can go, then you can install the iperf 3 using yum install iperf 3 so the package has been um, saved in the repository so you can just quickly go to 
issue a command and run it. Um, and we're gonna run it in uh, server mode, as we said. Uh, the port, default port is 5201. 5201. So we need to open that port from your virtual machine's firewall. Um, we are using Google G GCP, so we have to open the port from here. We can open it from VPC firewalls. And we can create a firewall port. Let's see, hyperf3 TCP 5201. Ingress, allow, and target tag us. We allow any. So we don't all instance in the network. We're gonna do all instance, not only one. The source IP ranges will could be any. Or you can limit it to your only your IP. So here is the settings for the port number 5201. Create it. Then we can go back to our machine to test that. Now we're going to put our virtual machine's IP as our destination. Let's look at what the public IP it is. Okay, we got that and we put... So since we are using default port, we, won't, we don't need to specify port here as we did for last testing. We can just use dash C plus public IP. Beautiful. It's finished successfully. So um, the sender is 14.8 megabits, the receiver 14.6. So that's basically testing between your machine and uh, remote uh, servers and how to test in from your machine to public iperf 3 servers. There's a multiple other, other multiple options you can use. You can define TCP, you can define UDP, and uh, you also can define by direction or just one way. Let's take a look at that. So you can define how many parallel client string to run. So we can do I try to do twenty parallel string to run. Uh, I have a typo here. It's dash p. Uh, capital P. So they opened the 20 sessions directly to the remote site and they're going to summarize all of them and tell you the speed. So we get the larger speed is 17.7, 14.8. So that's uh, reasonable. Um, sometimes the remote server, they have limitation for each string, each session. But if you launch multiple sessions, they will give you higher bandwidth to use because each session will, will not taking that much bandwidth and they will not throw it down. So in this way, we te we got the 17.7 and 14.8, which is better than we did last time. We also can look at some other parameters. Um, one, another one is 
testing from so right now mostly we're testing from our client to remote server when well, you can do it reverse you can do it through what i mean that you can try to I put five and do dash r which is from server to client which is all the way around so we will see how that goes So in this way, we got a much higher result. Um, we got the 131, so it's different. Because my provider, for my ISP provider, they only allows me to, if I using uploading method, they only allow me to do around 20 megabit for uploading, which is when I testing to get the speed, it's around 17 at maximum. And if I'm downloading, they gave me around 130 or 150. I forgot the number. It's usually it's around 150 megabit. So that's the speed I got. I got the 131 megabit per second, which is uh, very close to the limitation, my home network downloading speed. This is testing from server to client which is downloading. And the previous testing was from client, from my machine to cloud, from client to server. It's a very helpful tools, very accurate to reflecting your current speed. Um, I'm hoping this video is useful to you and I hope you like this tool as well. Any questions, please let me know. Thank you.